Yo, what's up, guys? Karan plays here, and welcome back to the ninth episode of the FIFA 21 Manchester United Career Mode series. FIFA 21 is finally out for everybody worldwide. So happy launch day, guys! And smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I have one more task for you today. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. How many of y'all have actually gotten FIFA 21? And let me know which team you're gonna be starting your Career Mode series off with. And now let's get right into the comments. Just make the deal permanent. Hashtag Egalo. He never did anything wrong. He definitely never did anything wrong. But he's never even you know done anything to justify his place in the squad. So I'll I'll just show you his stats. See, seven appearances, just one goal, which isn't bad either. But um, I'm not gonna renew his contract, guys. Bro, you can sign Sula from Bayern Munich as new centre back. Um, I could do this if you're, you know, thinking of letting Harry Maguire go, but I still haven't gotten any inputs on that, so I'll not be making any moves until and unless we know what Harry Maguire's future at the club is gonna be. And yeah, if we sell Harry Maguire, it is then only that we can afford Nicolas Sula. But yeah, for now, I'm actually up for that man because he's got some good stats and 85 overall. That's better than Harry Maguire, and he'll be relinking with his old teammate man, Lucas Hernandez. So don't mind that at all, but. We'll still, you know, we might be looking for a centre back from the Bundesliga to replace Lindelof. We'll take a look at that when the transfer window officially opens. Use Rashford. He has power free kick trait, so you know, use him from 30, 40 yards. He definitely does have power free kick trait, and if we do get an opportunity, you know, smash one from 30, 40 yards, you all know who I'm going to be taking it with now. Okay, we do have time for one last comment, and the disrespect, man, the disrespect to our player of the episode award winner for today, Mason Greenwood. Aren't so far he better than Mason Greenwood? Nah, mate, I'm not having any of this. And Mason Greenwood goes ahead and picks up 83 rated player of the episode card. And even though he did not perform as well as he does usually in the games that we play, but in the semi-in matches, he just popped off, man. Scored a hat trick in one, scored a brace in one, so definitely deserves it. Brighton up next for us, and they've actually had a really decent season, man. I think they're in the same position, so we're gonna be playing that. And after that, we've got two games in the cup, which I'm gonna be simming. Spurs and then even Leeds United and finally probably going to be playing till you know either Leeds or Liverpool. We'll take a look at that later, but for now let's just get right into our game against Brighton. We have to make a few changes to the squad though because Pogba, Tellers, Rashford and Martial, everybody's really tired and I will make some changes. But look at this man, just I've, the number of teams that I've seen who have played a five at the back is now getting a bit obscene and Mopé is playing up top and. Thank God I didn't play last time out because I would have raged if we, you know, conceded from Mopé because Everton did score in the very last kick of the game and I I wasn't in the right state to play that game. Now I am the new day fresh mind, so let's get right into this one. This time we're going to be playing at the Old Trafford and last time we faced them obviously at the Amex Stadium. It it was a tight one, man. Three two, we just about managed to get away with the win, but this time I really want a convincing win. We really have to perform well as a side and let's take a look at our lineup. I am gonna give Igalo a chance to prove himself, so he's gonna be starting up top alongside Martial. Van de Beek comes on for Paul Pogba and Brandon Williams. He's gonna start today instead of Alex Telles. So I'm excited, man. I've actually I really wanted to try Brandon Williams out in this game. So now's my opportunity. Sancho on the ball, and finally we have gotten the ball to Brandon Williams, who I think we should start training his weekly because he's a right for a left back, and it it just won't go right. Okay. Anthony Martial has found Jadon Sancho, and we do have an early chance in this game, which was thwarted with a good block. But Van de Beek still keeps possession, finds Igalo, Sancho back to Donny Van de Beek, who created a lot of space for himself, but just the angle was against him, and that is a chance wasted. Oh, beautiful interception from Scott McTominay there. Now Anthony Martial has found Bruno Fernandez, who can play this one to Igalo. Great turn from Igalo, and he can score actually here. Odion Igalo with his first goal in the Premier League, and okay, that that was a fantastic turn, and he might just be giving me reasons to extend his contract, but I'm not too sure about that for now. I mean, that's just one goal, but really fantastic turn and a fantastic finish too on his weaker left foot. I will take that man. Fernandez with the assist and Igalo with the shot in the top top bins. Brandon Williams, good tackle from him. Gets possession back for us. Donny Van de Beek on the ball now. Martial is making a good run, and surely this is. Come on, man! You hit the post. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. Sancho, Egalo plays this one to Donny Van de Beek, and just 
So good man, 23 minutes in and Brighton have crumbled 2 nil and we don't have to you know concede at the half time so that you know my team can keep a clean sheet but what a game man, Agalo again involved in the build up and I might be reconsidering some things. Look at this man, great great passing, just one touch, two touches max and Van de Beek starting after a long time, actually he's actually been starting a lot of games recently and whenever he started he's either gotten a goal or an assist so proving to be a great backup and you know even a contender for the starting 11 position. Brighton finally have a chance on the attack here and just look how easily Lindelof was beaten there by Lalana. Now Pascal Gross on the ball finds McAllister back to Adam Lalana. Mope, no we can't concede, please, please, no, 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 great, great defending there from Lucas Hernandez and Brandon Williams showing some strength there, that was fantastic, fantastic defending. Scott McTominay gets possession here, finds Igalo, he places one to Jaden Sancho, Bruno Fernandez making a good run here, great, great passing from our side today, man. Oh, beautiful ball, just look at this, absolutely saucy and martial, well, even if that ball would have reached Igalo, he was in an offside position, so... Better running Martial. Oh beautiful tackle there from Aaron Van Bissaka and our first half has really come off well for us and come on man that I was looking for Igalo's run and was gonna slip him in but ref blows his whistle and now we're gonna have the second half to you know get a few more goals and assists with Igalo. Oh Connolly has just been done there by Aaron Van Bissaka and now David Dehaya can just you know keep possession by passing the ball around but that was Absolutely mesmerizing stuff from Aaron Van Bissaka, man, and I don't expect that from him. McAllister has slipped this one through to Mope, and our defense is nowhere to be found. Neal Mope, why, why is it always him, man? He's chipped ahead and made it 2 1 to Brighton. GG's, man. McAllister with a fantastically weighted ball, and this just did you see who was there, you know, trying to marshal McAllister? Victor Lindelof. Time's up, buddy. Time's up. Bruno Fernandes finds Donny van de Beek but honestly ever since they've scored the goal we haven't been able to create a single chance now all that could change as Anthony Martial has found Bruno Fernandes and surely well a little too late but nonetheless 3-1 no way for a comeback for them now all Zonas conceding again here and you know them making it 3-2 I'm saying 100-1 and Bruno Fernandes with a fantastic finish into the top bins he's made a 3-1 for us Oh, Brandon Williams has been done there and thank god referee does blow his whistle otherwise that could have been a dangerous chance for them. Um, this, this is surprising. I need to let you know I've been reading some of the stuff that people have been lately saying about my future. I just wanted to ask you to give me another chance to prove I'm the right man for this job. You know what? I can't believe you're saying this because we've played him in so many matches and no way you're gonna you know, let him go so Marcus you have nothing to worry about mate. Transfer window has finally opened and Romero departs so I think we should get you know some funds. Pre-contract player has arrived. Diallo Amatriore is finally here. We're gonna be using him. I'm really gassed for that and you know what? It is time for Diallo Amatriore to get some new young teammates and Daniel Harding 5 star 5 star and this guy. You know what I think? I think let's just promote this guy to the senior team for now. We will wait for Pedro Reis and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a fantastic player too but for now let's just get one in. Here they are guys Harding left winger slash right winger 78 pace 72 shooting 5 star 5 star oh my god this guy he's just gonna be a madness I can already feel it. Diallo Amatreore another striker and 46 sharpness not bad man pace 79 shooting 62 2 star 3 star so we have to work on that but you know what I'm gonna be using both of them in today's match and probably in one of these cup games Let's just get this right on the way man. Next match is against Burnley in the cup and I'm gonna be using my cup team for that one but after that we do have I think a quarterfinal or semi-final of the Carabao Cup and I might just go ahead and play that one. Cordoba getting his first goal for Manchester United and we have actually beaten Burnley 1-0. I think the last time out when we did play them in a semi final game we drew one all but I will definitely take it and our new youth team player was promoted did even come on for Daniel James and I am gonna have some fun with him. Have to get this done right away. Development plans, we're gonna be you know giving them to all of our young players. But first, Brandon Williams, weak foot upgrade is definitely needed, so getting that one underway. Okay, so for Harding, I think we should just leave him at balanced and I'm looking for Diallo Amatriore because that guy has two star, three star, which let's just say it isn't ideal. 
Ah, uh, here he is, two star, three star. What should we, you know, get him to first improve? Let's get him to at least three star, three star for now. Then maybe four star, three star. Then four star, four star. You know, just get the progression. Finally, we've gotten that Romero money, and I think we should start trying to make some moves. Ah, Pelestri, man. Can we try to sign? Oh, we can actually try to sign him again. Hmm. I'm again, you know, gonna delegate to buy and let's just not start the offer at 7 million because we don't have a lot of funds. But yeah, let's make it 7.7 .7 and hope that we can get him into the club. But the player that I'm, you know, dying to sign is this guy right here, Dio Ope Meccano. I'm gonna try to offer a player swap deal, Victor Lundelof going the other way and Ope Meccano obviously our way. Okay, so I'm offering Victor Lindelof and let's just straight away go for a player swap deal. If not, we'll just see their counter. Um, that's interesting. No counter. I mean, I just offered you all just to start things off with Victor Lindelof. But that I mean that guy Lindelof, he's just, he's just a bad luck charm, isn't he? Sorry, you all had to see that. And well, we just got yelled at by Red Bull Leipzig's, whoever it is, man. They transfer negotiator or whatever it is. But that was... That was humiliating, 100%. Carabao Cup semi-finals against Preston and I'm just so excited to use my second team for this one because we've gotten some quality players in and let's take a look at the team management section and get both of our new signings. Maybe Omar Traore might come off from the bench because Mason Greenwood has to start man. He's, he's our star man of course but Cordoba has scored in his last match so I'm not too sure who should I be bringing off. Dan James or Cordoba? I'll let me take a moment and let's figure things out. Well, took a minute and I've actually figured things out. Harding will be playing in that left wing role and let's just get this one underway. Never thought I'd be playing a match against Preston and I was 100% sure that I would be simming this match but I just wanted to try out my new young star so let's kick things off. Van de Beek on the ball now. Oh, what a fantastic pass towards Galbraith and Galbraith looking for our new man Harding but couldn't find him. We might as well just keep possession here. Van de Beek again finds the new man Harding. Harding plays this one to Greenwood who's found McTominay. McTominay goes a bit wide and wearing the captain's armband that that wasn't the best example of a shot. Okay pressing on their attack here and Ben White what a challenge even though they do keep possession but that was a crunching tackle. Mason Greenwood with a fantastic interception here finds Galbraith plays this one to Scott McTominay. McTominay has another chance to have a go and he does so but his shooting isn't the best, that is for sure. Preston on the attack here, they're using a lot of skill moves to get past Galbraith and finally do so. They're in our box, that is a bit dangerous but I think we can handle them, hopefully. Brandon Williams, somebody just get a tackle in, oh my god. Oh my god. We were gonna go 1-0 down there. What, what a clearance there from Ted and Mengi and we might have a chance ourselves on the counter here as Dan James, we know the guy is rapid. Okay, I can't take the risk of, you know, losing or drawing this match, so I'm gonna make two changes here. First of all, McTominay as a CDM and Galbraith is gonna come off for Paul Pogba. Brandon Williams on the ball looking for Paul Pogba. Pogba can't slip this one through to Mason Greenwood. Ah, that's, that's good defending, man. Great defending from Preston. Daniel James on the ball. Come on, Mason, make a good run here. Great ball slipped in towards Mason Greenwood. We have to, we have to make this chance count, Mason. Are you kidding me? Mason Greenwood has, I, I don't know, that was the worst shot I've ever seen and that was on his technically preferred foot even though he doesn't have a weak foot but what was that? I think it's time, it is time for Diallo Amatre Ore. Now we know he's he's got a trash weak foot and trash skill moves too but I believe in him man. Okay, Traore's first chance and his first touch on the ball too. Keeps the ball well and has found Van de Beek who takes us from distance and he's actually found the top bins. Diallo Amatriori on his debut gets the assist and Donny Van de Beek with a really important goal man. Ah relief just my god I'm sweating right now and Diallo Amatriori with a fantastic bit of close control dribbling there. Finds Van de Beek and that shot was absolutely top bins man like top quality shot from Van de Beek and we've made it 1-0. Pogba on the ball looking for Harding's run and he's actually found him. Could this be a chance for a second? Traore making a good run into the box and Harding has... Oh my god man, he actually found him with that ball and Amar Traore's header hit the post, hit him and just so unlucky man. So, so unlucky. Paul Pogba on the ball now. 
has slipped this one through to McTominay. McTominay now looking for Timothy. Timothy Fossum ends on the ball. Dan James making a good run down the wing. And why did Harding stop his run, man? We do get a corner here, but I think either Harding or Paul Pogba did stop their run and would have, you know, whipped it towards them, but it's not going to happen. We have to settle for a corner. Why not? Traore, that short beast. I'm going to take this corner with him and hopefully he can get another assist here. That's a great ball whipped in and how did you miss the target, Ben? That's going to be it for this game, but I've really liked what I've seen, Traore. A tense game last time out against Preston Northern and well, Bruno Fernandes, I'm expecting, always expecting a lot more from my players. Happy that he's happy with the games. Completely forgot about this man. We are actually now above Arsenal in the table, so that's also fantastic. And 12 points behind league leaders Liverpool, 10 points. That gap hasn't changed man, so next match is against Tottenham and as recent form has shown, in FIFA 21 we should be beating them. but. In real life, that was that was something really different. We have to take a moment to talk about this guy right here, Diallo Amatriore, with a fantastic debut. And as well, this is, these are not my words. Alejandro Gomez, Messi's teammate, has described Diallo Amatriore as well Messi in training. So, do we have another Messi on our hands? We'll find out soon enough. And honestly, his his body structure, his well preferred foot. Everything does point out towards us having a new Messi on our hands, so I am actually gassed, man. Excited for this one, Spurs versus Manchester United at Spurs' new stadium, and haven't taken a look at either side. We will do so in a fun. We will do so just in a moment, but Spurs v United, time for revenge. Last time out when we tried to get revenge, we weren't successful, but this time I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Going with a full force, Marcus Rashford, Martial up top, Jaden Sancho in that cam role. Pogba Fernandez are central midfielders, Zakaria CDM, Lucas Hernandez and unfortunately Victor Lindelof are centre backs. Aaron Van Bissaka and Teres complete the back four and end goal, David De Gea. Spurs this lineup and honestly I did take a look at the top scorers and top assists list which I will be showing it to you, you know after this match but Wout Weghorst and Giovanni Lo Celso have been balling out for them and they obviously do have Son, Lamella out wide, Fede Valverde and Harry Wings in the CDM spots and in defence, Doherty starts today with Dyer, Toby Alderweireld and Regulon and in goal, Hugo Lloris. I think Bale still isn't fit or maybe is Lamella just performing that well that there is no chance for Bale so that would be even more frightening. Spurs are going to get this ball rolling at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and time for us to at least, we, our objective for this game is to score at least 3. Pogba gets the ball here, finds Marcus Rashford and now Jaden Sancho on the ball. Sancho looking to slip this one through to Martial and we have gotten the start we needed man. Anthony Martial, that that was a really audacious attempt and I thought I might have messed up there but Martial, Tony Martial, he's come for France man. The press said he's got no chance but Tony Martial scores again. Beautiful work from our side and Sancho grabbing the assist, Tony Martial just look at this chip man. Yoris to no chance and he's just been absolutely done there. Composure, I scored, Drippy Martial has scored. Spurs really keeping the possession well, you know, ever since conceding that goal and Wout Weghorst with some weird dribbling there and thank God Lucas Hernandez did get a touch there, otherwise that was through for Giovanni Lo Celso. Sancho gets the ball here and he slipped this one through to Marcus Rashford. We're just, you know, looking for the counter attacks and surely this is it, man. Oh my God. Counter-attacking, simple counter-attacking football and I did slip it through to Pogba there but Rashford with the captain's contribution and what a goal man. Another chip, Hugo Lloris has again been done there and Marcus Rashford, well, he did text me saying that, you know, he was a bit scared about his future but I'm sure we have answered and, you know, set his question straight. Pogba with a crunching tackle and he's found Marcus Rashford who's almost slipped that one through to Jaden Sancho, man. On the counter, we are looking really, really threatening. Chance on another counter here. Pogba, he's, he's too saucy and Sancho making a decent run here. Paul Pogba has found him. Keeping possession well, just keep your calm, Sancho. Keeps possession well and he's found Paul Pogba. Rashford! Ah man, that was a good, good block and a good save from Yoris. Marcus Rashford using the agile dribbling to get past players and he's gotten past a few here and he slipped this one through to Jaden Sancho and 3-0 it is guys. Instead of us conceding near the 45th minute, we've gone ahead and scored. Sancho has made a 3. 
Dream Trio has really popped off in this episode. Sancho with two assists and now one goal. Rashford I believe with one goal, one assist and Anthony Martial with one goal. 3-0 already. This this is proving out to be a really fun episode. Ball bounce, just clear it man, just clear it, we can't concede, we cannot concede, Sancho, thank god, referee blows his whistle and Pogba did go sliding in there and had he mistimed it, penalty surely, but I'll take it man. First half has come to an end here, but I have a treat for you guys, Diallo Amatriore is still on the bench, so we might be seeing some more of him today. Well, that, that was a deserved goal and I just absolutely messed up there. Let's take a look at the replay. Good good work there from Wout Regos, man. He's a big man and he, for a big man, he does turn well and slip this one through to Eric Lamella, who I I have kind of some beef with him, man. I, I don't know how he escaped just with a yellow card there against Martial, but it's okay. 3-1. I want to score one more. I, I do want to win by a goal difference of three at least. Fernandez on the ball. Oh, oh I forgot. I, I've actually improved his skill move, so he's also a five-star skiller now. Find Sancho, Sancho slips this one towards Marcus Rashford, Rashford to Bruno Fernandes, oh come on man, look at this fantastic gameplay, we're just getting hard done by there and keeping the ball well here, still Paul Pogba, come on, we, we have to score from this chance, Pogba's ball, well that isn't helping our case, oh no 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 no, Spurs again on the attack here with Gareth Bale who's come on for I don't know who but he has come on and Lucas Hernandez messes up there, Lindelof has rescued us. I repeat, Lindelof has rescued us. 80 minutes played and it is time for me to make that change. Martial, he's gonna come off for none other than Diallo Ahmad Traore. Sancho on the ball, Traore making a good run here and he's actually been played through. Please, please just finish this one you mad lad and I probably in hindsight should have gotten a little more ahead but ah, uh, that was some good running from him, I'm not gonna lie. Fantastic passing from our side here. Sancho finds Rashford. Rashford's gonna play this one through to Aaron Van Bissaka who keeps it in. Great running from him. Aaron Van Bissaka still on the ball here. Gets past the defensive line and he's gonna whip this one in towards Traore but good defending from their back line and another chance missed. Oh no 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 no. 90 plus and something minutes and they've actually slipped Josef Martinez through and yeah, 3-2, come on man, we've actually really crumbled in the last few minutes here. Should have played better, man. GG's man, what a fantastic ball slipped in and Lindelof, at times he's good, at times he's bad and that was a bad moment for him but he's actually, you know, rescued at least one goal for us today so not gonna complain, Josef Martinez slips this one and a fantastic finish shot to be honest against De Gea and hopefully it's too little too late. That's it guys, it was too little too late for Spurs and a 3-0 lead that almost came down and well, could have been a comeback for Spurs but thankfully it wasn't the case and we did get a bit hard done by there with the post but still, 3-2 against Spurs, I will take it. Oh, this is gonna be hard, this is gonna be really really hard, we have to do something right here guys and I'm not gonna enjoy it. He's just gone ahead and praised us and said that he wants to repay his faith in us but it has to happen guys, he's been added to the transfer list and that is probably the last thing that we have to do in today's episode. Let's go ahead and take a look at the objectives for dress report. Manchester is red, we have failed that one and I can't, like, this is the last time I'm going to be mentioning it. Moving on, United, still in the running for that and we have smashed it guys. Objective is completed, dream trio, Marcus Rashford has gotten 30 goal contributions already man, 22 goals and 8 assists. Jaden Sancho with 18 goal contributions, that's already a total of 48 and Tony Martial, 26 appearances, 25 goal contributions, smash it man, 70 plus goals assists already done so I'm really gassed about that and Bruno Fernandes, he's not far away man, 21 goal contributions, 4 more and he's also smashed this one so we are progressing decently in the objectives and I think for the next time or you know we could add something about clean sheets because we have struggled to keep them. Ooh, Diego Dalo already getting an offer and that was really really quick man. 25 million? I, I don't see a reason why we won't be accepting this. Once Dalo does get sold, I will try to, you know, sign Dio Meccano again and this time we'll go for a player swap deal and offer some money too. So yeah, we've got to keep that in mind. Ooh, Monchin, my god man, this... Dalo is just in demand completely, this time it's launching lad back and 
more money i'll definitely accept it hopefully he goes to monster land back and an offer for paul pogba 110 million guys this is obscene 110 million you know what just to make things interesting just to make things interesting i'm i'm not looking to sell him first of all guys let me just get that straight away clear here but you know what if we get 140 million why not our next and last game of this episode is going to be against leeds united and inigo cordova wants to you know play that one i'll think about it mate i'll definitely give that a thought 28th place leeds united so might as well just give him a chance and i'm going to be using my second team here but i have to make two changes first so inigo cordova is going to be starting this game Greenwood up top, Harding also coming on as that right winger, and our last change was Paul Pogba coming on for Galbraith, and McTominay is going to be our CDM. So Leeds United versus Manchester United. I can't believe I'm not going to be playing this game, but 28th place side. I I don't think we should be wasting any time there. Okay, that was close. Van de Beek, the only goal scorer for us, and Diallo Montreal came on for Harding. In fact, on that right wing, you know. That's just showing us, man. Messi plays on the right wing. Traore tries to play out wide on the right. So I'll take it, man. Seven shots, five chances, and just one goal. So that isn't all that convincing. But Donny Van de Beek, number thirty-four, scoring in the thirty-fourth minute. I'll take that, man. That is it for today's episode. And guys, our next match is against Liverpool. But just look at this table. Liverpool have gone ahead and lost another match. And I will. I'm up for that, man. I'm all up. Oh, maybe not lost. I think they've drawn their match. Anyways, we face Liverpool in the next episode and transfer window is still on. Let me know down in the comment section below who you think we should be signing and I'm pretty sure our player of the episode winner is probably going to be Donny van de Beek. Man has just popped off in today's episode and that's great to see man and that's it for today's episode. If y'all enjoy this one, do smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button guys. Road to 5k is on and I was asked a question man. 5k. Will we be doing a collab with S2G? You'll have to get us to 5k and then we'll find out and turn those notifications on because if a collab does come y'all don't want to miss that